Welcome back, and this is a short preview on my fire alarm system. I've been making so many changes to the system, uh, it seems like I'll never make an update video. I don't know if anyone else has this trouble, but I seem to never be finished with the system. It's like a project, and no matter how much you sink into it, how much time, money, resources, it's never finished. There's always something I can do to improve it, and that's probably the main reason I've put off these update videos. There's been so much happening uh, with the system. I've dug multiple trenches. There are numerous devices throughout the house now. Uh, but I never seem to film them because it, I just get focused and it's, yeah. I'm in a point now where I'm quite happy with the system. Uh, I haven't made too many changes over the last couple of weeks. There's still a lot I would like to do with the system. I mean, I've never finished planning it out and designing it I would ultimately like a completely system uh, completely different system altogether uh, which is the notifier system but it's so expensive it's um it's made for commercial properties that have a lot of money to blow on it and I just don't have that kind of money uh, so I'm really happy with how the system is at the moment uh, and today I'm gonna just share with you where I'm at and how the system is evolving You've seen this panel before. Uh, you've seen I've actually upgraded the panel. I've switched out the motherboard with a newer version, and it now has software compatibility. So you'll see my YouTube channel name on the screen there, because I've been able to program this panel using a computer. So I'll open it up, and you'll see that there are a few differences from last video. For starters, I have an evacuation amplifier here. Which was kindly traded by another YouTuber called the La uh, the Last Team Standing. He's got quite a few interesting videos planned in the future. He wants to install a system pretty much identical to this in his house as well, um, and I'm really excited to see how that will turn out. So I suggest you keep an eye on his channel and just check him out and see what kind of videos he's going to make. Okay, moving on. You can also see a module here. So I came to the conclusion when I was installing the system that I've spent quite a bit of money on it um, as a hobby, more than many people would. Uh, I wanted to utilize the system every single day that I could. Uh, so I wanted to have a general purpose for it. Because if not, it's just sitting here waiting for an emergency. What this module allows me to do is utilize the 100 volt speakers that are installed throughout the house as like a general purpose PA system. So when the fire alarm system activates, this module will also turn on and it will route the uh, this amplifier to these speakers which are scattered throughout the house. If this module isn't activated, it goes to another 100 volt amplifier which is this one here. Uh, this is made for, you know, just commercial buildings. It's a 20 watt amplifier so it's kind of underpowered for the the size of the system I have. I've got nine 100 volt speakers in total uh, scattered throughout the house. I can show you a few of those tonight uh, but not all of them. Okay so you may be asking what are the features of having an amplifier like that? What I've done is I've routed it through my mixer here and I have a four channel sound card coming out of my computer which allows me to pretty much infinitely configure these channels here. You'll hear that chime there. That's one of the uh, functions of the 100 volt transformer. So it plays that sound throughout the house. Uh, wait till that's finished. It's 10 o'clock now, so you can hear it chiming. And that is playing throughout the whole house now thanks to this amplifier here. It should be finished soon. Okay, so that's one of the purposes I'm using these speakers for, is to play a clock, an antique clock chime, to let people know what the time is. It's a very nice chime, and I think it's a really good way to utilize the speakers. So that's going through channel one. On channel two, we have the uh, intercom system. So I've got about three microphones scattered throughout the house. One of them is in my room here. 
So that's one of the microphones. Very high quality microphones too, so the uh, quality of the intercom is absolutely stunning. You'll see a couple of videos in the future uh, displaying the quality of that. Okay, so that's pretty much the only two things I'm using uh, for the amplifier down there, apart from just general music. Sometimes I'll play radio for it. it it's, it's infinitely configurable. Whatever you want to play through the speakers, I can play throughout the whole house. Eventually, I want to have a gate alarm, so when someone walks down the driveway, it'll play an announcement over those speakers saying that someone's coming up the driveway. You know, it's infinitely configurable. There's so many things that I can do with it in the future. So I think that's a really good uh, way to use the system. Unfortunately, this isn't to code. Uh, if you were to install this in a commercial situation, the evacuation transformer has to be able to monitor these speakers at all times. With this system, uh, when it's turned off, it just sends this amplifier to a dummy resistor and it's not monitoring the speakers. But at the end of the day, this is a hobby system, so it's, it's not really a big deal. And it, for what it gains, it's not a bad compromise. I wish that this amplifier could monitor the end of line at the same time as playing external music, but it's just not possible. I mean, there might be something you can do about it. Um, but yeah, okay, enough of the panel. I'll show you what devices I have installed. So you'll see the software here. It is an exact clone of the panel up there. So this LCD Mimic, if it'll focus, I don't know if it will from this distance. You can kind of see it there. So if I change the menu on here, it will do exactly the same thing on that panel. You can kind of see it changing there. Status. Loop. So you can kind of see it changing there. Okay, but that's not what I'm showing you. I will show you an overview of all the devices I have installed. Okay, let's get status. Okay, so in total, I have eight optical uh, smoke alarms installed, two heat detectors, which are also analog addressable, and one Omni uh, device, which is heat and optical. So you'll see one, two, three, and four are optical, five and six are heat, and seven through ten are optical. Eleven is the Omni device, which is multi-sensored. And then we get into the modules. So in total I have 11 devices and 14 modules. So the first modules are a manual core point, the door relay which you've seen before up there. We've got another manual core point, uh, two manual core points rather. The bell relay which is the module inside that panel there. And the other channels are uh, occupied by the loop responder. This allows me to have conventional devices on this analog addressable system. So most of my house is analog addressable, uh, but there are a couple of conventional zones, which we will show you now. Okay. So this is more just a general uh, technical overview of the system, but we will test a core point uh, on the conventional zone now. So we'll silence the alarms and we'll walk down to the furthest point of my system and test the core point if I can find my keys, which are here. Okay, let's go. It's quite a walk. Okay, these are the conventional zones I have on my panel. There are only six conventional devices on this panel. One is this call point here, the smoke alarm up here, and there is a heat detector in here. If the light will let focus. And the end of line is in this room here. And apart from four smoke alarms in the uh, in the roof space, that is the only conventional devices I have on this system. Okay, let's try this call point. Oh, 
something worth mentioning too is I also have a remote mimic. Um, might be quite hard to see. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to see. But there is a remote mimic here on the outside of the building. Which mimics everything the main panel displays. Okay, let's set off the core point here, which is loop 1, zone 7, module 8, and device 2 of 4. I hope I silenced it. Let me just double check that. It's very late at night, so I don't want the alarm going off. <clears throat> Oh, yep, that's gone to alarm. Luckily, it was silenced. So, lower bathroom, which is the loop responder. And I think that'll just about do it for the uh, preview video. I'm going to make a full in depth video this weekend of the entire system the intercom, the clock chiming, everything. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. And as I've said earlier in the video, check out another YouTuber called The Last Team Standing. Um, we've been talking quite a bit, and he's quite into fire alarms as well and he likes uh, New Zealand fire alarm systems as well so check him out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.